Hey Wanderers, we're coming at you with another one-shot for your weekend. Today's Wandering One-Shot is Loop Hero. Alright, so... This is a game that I have been... For the longest time wanting for my Switch. Um, I know it's on Steam and Epic, and it was even a free game on Epic a while back. Um, but I managed to finally get it on, on Switch. Um, first day I got it, I think I played it for like seven hours that day. So I'm a little obsessed with it. Um, it is just, it's my kind of game, especially on Switch, where it's that kind of, kind, like, arguably passive kind of game where, you know, you're not, you know, you're not focused a lot necessarily. It's just, you're letting it do its thing. You're doing small things here and there. It's essentially how I play like Hearthstone and other mobile type games. Um, obviously, you know, Loop Hero is not mobile, but same idea. But so I thought, you know, since I am obsessed with this game, that I would give all of you a, you know, small tour of it, so to speak. Um, so yeah, let's, let's just get right into it. So the main premise of Loop Hero is that it's kind of like the world was destroyed, now there's nothing left, and then you're this, well I mean you can technically change what you want, you can change class, but you start out as this warrior, um, and then you're just literally going in a loop and fighting enemies and you know, gaining items, gaining tiles that you'll play that will increase your stats. Um, you know, and so you're just going around that and, you know, the thematic of it is that you're remembering the world and the various pieces of it. And that's why it kind of fleshes it out with the terrain and other things as you go. Um, but the passive part of it is that you're not fighting, you're not moving, like, you know, like the name of the game, your hero is, they're just walking that loop consistently, fighting whatever's in front of them, you know, doing whatever's in front of them. And so you're placing the things around them to try and, you know, make them better to survive, to possibly fight a boss to continue the story and whatnot. Um, um, yeah, I've managed to beat the first boss-ish. I don't... They're bosses, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I haven't tried fighting the second one yet, and I don't know if I'll if I'll get to in this one shot. But we can just get into it and see what happens. Um, so yeah, I see this white character here is me, or you know the person you play as, and they just wander around. You can pause the game when you get stuff, so like you can go over here and. Like, I have a thing, because I think I built up my town so I can start with the warrior, some basic gear for the warrior that you can equip. Um, but yeah, see, there's some slimes in the front, so I'll meet up with them. I'll fight them. Again, I'm not doing anything. It's all just the passiveness, and then you'll get items, or not items, tiles. So it's like this meadow. When you place it, it will heal you 2 HP at the start of each day, which the... HP is the, or the, sorry, the day timer is the very top bar with the sun in the top left that's currently kind of three quarters green. So when that hits full, then that's a new day. Enemies will new spawn, such and such. Um, so the main point of this game, if you want to be strategic, as, you know, as far as I can tell, is, you know, certain placement of things is what you want. So, you know, you want to place things in a way that will, you know, combo, so to speak, with other things. Um, that's maybe the part I haven't quite got into yet. Like, for the most part, it's it's pretty straightforward with how I've, or where I've been playing it at, how I've been playing it at. Um, so, like, this village here, you know, when I enter it, I will heal, and it will also kind of give me a, a side quest, you know? So we... We love our side quests here. <laughs> um, and then the wheat field is another kind of thing where it can only be played by a village. So you need 
you know, the village first to be able to play it, but when you play it, it will increase the healing that you get in the village. Um, but then you just, you know, you just keep going and you just, you do the loop. You rinse and repeat, you fight enemies, you level up, the enemies get harder, you get better gear, you level up again. You know, it is very much what its name entitles, where it's, you know, Loop Hero. That is all there is. And it sounds weird because it sounds so simple. But like, I don't know, it's just, at least for me, I just, I, I love it. It's so addicting. I just, I love that. That kind of passivity you get with these kind of games where like, you know, part of why I played it for like six hours the first day I got it was because, you know, you can, you can just kind of sit back because it's like, you know, I, once you start going, it's like, you can't really do much. Like, you know, if you want, you can hit, um, you can, you know, hit X down here to run away and that will just kind of end the sort of roguelike run for you. Um, but for the most part, like you're just, you're playing stuff. You're starting your guy again and you just rinse and repeat. <laughs> I don't know how well this will do in terms of a uh, entertaining video, but I mean, I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm happy to show you guys the games that I am loving or the games that I'm playing. And part of our channel was, you know, whatever our new obsession is, we want to share it with all of you. Obviously Loop Hero is not a new game, but you know, it is new to me. But yeah, like, I don't know. These games just intrigue me so much. And I mean, this game is just also so well done in that, like, um, yeah, it's like that. I like that better. And that's definitely better. Um, but yeah, like, it's just also so well done in that, you know, it's such a, like, simple premise but like it's done so well that it's at least for me like it's so addicting you know and it just you, you the enemies become a lot harder you can make it a lot harder for yourself depending on where you place things um so i mean you can also technically choose not to place things like it's not necessarily the best option but, I mean, you can, and you do with that what you want, because, you know, it's partially from fighting enemies and different things that you'll get, like, experience or, um, or better items and stuff, and, like, you know, I think regardless of what you place, you know, every time you, like, you just do a loop, the enemies will get stronger, so, like, you kind of need more enemies to get better to get better, you know, items and experience and level up and yeah, it's these kind of things, you know, like I placed it there, but it's kind of like, I didn't really have a reason to place it there. I just thought it looked spaced out. Like I don't, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there is a much like, you know, the right way to place some of this stuff. And I'm sure I'm not doing that, but at least where how, how far I've played into the game it hasn't really been an issue so I'm just enjoying it I'm you know kind of just going about my my day killing some scorch worms the guy with the gold on the left is like part of the quest from the village so that's why he's just taking a beating this dude's not too bad though he'll just he'll get wrecked ooh a new weapon god I equip that yeah, obviously, you know, you can see bottom right there, stats, you get different stats. You can get pure damage, which I believe is essentially just, you know, straight damage. It's not anything else. Vampirism, I'm assuming, is kind of like a... 
kind of like a um, life steal, so to speak. Like you know, when you do damage, you heal. The other ones, I feel like, are pretty pretty self-explanatory. But but yeah, it's interesting. I don't know how many. I think they're called classes in this. How many classes there are in this game? Um, I've currently unlocked three. I have the warrior. I think it's the thief or the rogue. I don't fully remember what the other one is. And I recently unlocked the necromancer, which seemed pretty good. Um, but so that's interesting too, because you know, if you look in the top right where my equipment is, you know, there's other slots that I have nothing in. You know, I have a weapon, a ring, a shield, and chest plate. You know, I don't have anything else. Um, and that's partially because, like, those other... Those other spots will get... Are, you know, are used by the other classes. So, like... Each class not only plays differently, but, like, they get different items, they have different stats, they... Like, I think the... The rogue thief, I don't remember what it is, um, but I believe... You know, the warrior, you get equipment as you go. Um, but the... Um, uh, I don't know which one is better. The rogue will, like, get tokens or something. Or, like, find items and then eventually, like, once you... While you're doing the loop, like, once you cross this code, the campfire, then... You'll essentially trade in all those tokens for items, so it's kind of like, you know, you get a one go of the loop where it's like, oh, I get new items here, I better change them out, and then you have to do a full loop without necessarily improving, that's a lot better, improving your um, weapons or anything, so you know, you kind of have to make do with what you got, so to speak. I hate these guys. I was fighting one, and it literally just was stealing, like, all of my items, and it was like, fuck you, <laughs> like, come on. I only get so many items, and he was stealing all the good stuff. These Scorchworms are pretty, pretty beefy. Um, but he's dead. Oh, he escaped. Interesting. I don't know if I can kill them. This is the first time I've played with the ruins, because you can... There's... I don't fully know how it works. There's kind of a deck building with, um... With the tiles, like, in that, you know, you'll build different buildings in your camp, like, when you outside of the loop, and you'll get access to different tiles, and, um those tiles will like you know it will be like oh you've unlocked you know you I, you unlocked the village tile and then you can select that where you know you'll kind of draw that or not um so yeah so these ruins i think i just got them recently um this is the first time i've played with them um so i don't fully know like how these scorch worms work since it seems like they keep escaping, you know, I don't fully know what that means. But I mean, if they get too annoying, I have this Oblivion, which will literally just destroy the whole spot. So, you know, we'll see. Also, I should level up because I managed to get a skill. So let's see what I get after the slime. Eh, nothing good. Uh, sure. What do I got? Article of Protection. Phantom Shield is always good. HP drops below 30, your reg bleh, regeneration is doubled. Or Blade of the Dawn. I don't know how well my regeneration is, so I feel like I kind of want to go Blade of the Dawn, actually. Yeah, let's do Blade of the Dawn. I like being able to kill shit. Also, I just, I love this game because 
that like classic like 8 bit or whatever where you know it's it's got that very old school video game music and you know you just you can just sit back relax and just you know vibe with it like, I love this kind of music oh fuck you dude stay dead Alright, we're coming up on those scorch worms. I think if I don't kill them this turn, I might just burn them away, because I don't... Ooh, an old painting. I like that. Don't know what that is, but I like it. Especially since there are two of them are quest ones. Uh, come on, come on. These guys are beefy, especially because they're quests, they're harder. Yeah, I killed one, so they can die, but they do kind of run away. Which is super... Oh, yeah, yeah, I killed another one. Alright, so they, they have been running away then. Which is a little frustrating. Um, so yeah, so when you run away, like if you're dying, you can run away to essentially keep your... Res or you keep half of your resources, I think. Um, but one thing you can do is essentially, you know, when you reach the end of the loop and you get to, like, the campfire, you could just leave there and, you know, keep everything. Obviously, it's a kind of push-your-luck sort of thing. I'm starting to get bandit camps, goblin camps. It's going to make more enemies. It's not too bad. Enemy's level 6, and I don't have any 6 equipment, so this could, we'll see how this goes. If I... If I this loop dies before I get anything good, or before I, you know, a good amount of time, I may show you a little bit of some of the other characters. We'll see. We'll see if I get to it. Die, Scarecrow. These Scarecrows are always so beefy, I hate them. Come on, let's actually kill this scorch worm for once. Don't let it survive another night. Oh. Kill it. Kill it. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. This is a slow fight. Do it. Get him. Ah, god damn it. Ah, what? What? Why are they attacking me? I've never seen that before. That's so weird. They have like range or something? I legitimately have not seen that before. Uh, place that there. That is insane. I feel like I definitely need to get rid of them. Let's just, let's pop it. I'll lose whatever. Yeah, quest failed, whatever. I didn't realize they had range. I don't want to be fighting other shit while I'm fighting them. They're already an annoying enough that they keep persisting and running away and and whatnot. God damn! I feel like I, this might be a shorter loop. We'll see how I do against these guys here. I have to keep an eye on my health. And it's getting low. Ooh, seven shield. I like that though. Kill him. Ah, one escaped. I'll definitely get in the shield. I mean, that's literally just better. God damn these scorch worms. They also seem like they almost do more damage from range. Like, jeez. I mean, this isn't useful to me right now if I'm going to be running away. Let's see when I get to the campfire. So I'd like to keep some resources if I can. Come on, there we go. Uh, it's not going to heal him enough. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna retreat for this one. 
I want to keep my resources. I don't think I have anything to build in my town. So, let's just expedite. All right, yeah, so it's the warrior, rogue, and necromancer. So I'll show you guys the rogue now. The rogue seems good, but also I haven't had, I haven't had the best of times with the rogue. So we'll see how I do. But yeah, you see on the right how it's got the bag. It, like essentially you get like tokens into that bag. Um, I can't go through it. Um, but you'll get tokens and then when you do a loop and get back to the campfire, we'll trade in all those tokens for items. So, you know, you just have to persist for the loop until you get back to that campfire. So it's a, li mo a little more risky of sorts, but I mean, the thing with the rogue is he's, they're high damage. The nice thing about the rogue, yeah, because he also does high damage, but he can dual wield, which is just awesome. Because, I mean, who doesn't love the dual wield? Uh, let's put you down here, vampire. <laughs> Uh, he's got the high, the like the high crit damage and the high, high burst. Get him! Oh, I don't know if there's a reason for it, but he also seems like he gets a lot more um, items, or sorry, not items. Uh, tiles when I play as the rogue versus like the warrior which I don't know if that's because he doesn't get items in the traditional sense like there I just got three like geez um, let's put that there let's try the ruins again I hate these fucking scorch worms though they're annoying as shit And there we go, some new items. What do we got? I mean, level two boots, level three. Yeah, the higher evasion's probably better. Four to six, four to six. Well then, I think we just go with this. That's better. Yeah, let's do that. But yeah, so you get, you know, one shot. One opportunity, yeah. <laughs> but you get one chunk of weapons, items, and then back to the loop. And so you have to... Now you don't get them like the warrior, you just get it as you're doing the loop. So, you know, you might get something better mid-loop. The rogue, you seem to have to just, you know, tough it through. God, get the vampire. What the hell? Bats? No, fuck off, bats. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Uh, let's throw him down. And let's put some meadows. Hey, we got a village. Let's quickly place that here. And then we can place the wheat field around it. And then we let's place the mountain first. And then let's place the rock. Let's place the rock over there. Wow, I paused it like right before I got to town. Uh, that's odd timing. Evasion, 286. I think that's the best. Spear is probably the best. And then, yeah, next. Alright. Back to the show. Oh, now there's another scorch worm there. I said the bottom, not another one. Get it! Kill these basic slimes. They can't touch you. God, I hate that range. That sucks so much. I haven't had to 
Get him. Yeah. I haven't had to deal with that range with any other enemies yet. It's frustrating. Cause it's like it makes me not want to not want to like deal with them because it's like um you stick to your stuff and i'll stick to my stuff you know so i don't know you know because they do range i don't know if essentially there's any class that i can be that can do range or if i you know kind of just have to suffer through as they attack me yeah the rogue he's got such high or they've got such high damage i love it that high burst, high crit. Oh, fuck off, bets. Ooh, I leveled up. What do we got? Steal a research shard. Or a tile heal. One resurrection. Let's take a resource shard. And then I should place another vampire. And then back to the slimes, because apparently I haven't I've gotten a lot of tiles, but for the most part it's been like mountains and meadows and stuff, so I haven't gotten a lot of other enemies. Um, let's place that there. Let's place that there. And then let's place that there. The rogue doesn't seem to get as high as, you know, from my limited play so to speak. Um, the rogue doesn't seem to get as much armor as like the warrior, which I mean obviously makes sense. But so the main problems I've ran into with the rogue is essentially just, you know, my damage doesn't negate the damage they're doing to me. So I kind of just get bulldozed in some ways. Get him. Oh, he escaped. Come on. Get him. Get him. Damn it. Why do they keep escaping? Let's turn up the speed. Let's go for broke. Harpy, what's up? You came down from the mountain, did you? Yeah, um, yeah. Good, good, good. That's what I like to see. Okay, let's see what we can do about these scorch worms. Oh, look at that damage. Fuck them up. Come on. Yeah. Killed that bitch. More scarecrows, fuck them up. Aw, oh, bandits. These are the guys that like to steal stuff from me. Alright, then see who steal stuff. Jeez, I'm getting so much stuff. Okay, goblins. Goblins can suck. Ugh. Ugh. Oof. Uh, let's see how this fight goes. I might have to run away. Ugh. Oof. That's not... Those are good. And nothing else, really. I mean, I know I had some good weapons and stuff, but I don't know that I have the health to make it around again, and I know I can play a bunch of stuff, but that was, that was the wrong button. Like, I feel like I've gotten a lot of stuff, you know, furniture included and whatnot. So well, I'm going to call it there. Let's do, let's do some retreating. 
can build another farm. Oh, we can build a mud hut. What's the mud hut do? Can give residents furniture or food to store. Yeah, I'll build that. There we go. Now we can pack up the tents and the sleeping bags. I'll inform everyone in a few minutes. There's not enough houses for everyone, so several families will have to share. But still, now we're one step closer to civilized living. Damn right you are. But yeah, there's so much. There's so much stuff that I haven't fully touched yet, like the crafting and the supplying I've just unlocked recently. You know, obviously there's so much stuff yet still to build. And then even this, like, I'm sure there's much more classes than this, but oh, hey, yeah, these are the, you know, the tiles, the kind of deck building where, you know, you can, you can swap ones you want to play, you know, put ones in that you want, you can unlock more through various things. It's kind of interesting, you know, you can kind of customize the level you want to play, but, but yeah, it's super cool. Um... And I think that's a good demonstration, so to speak, of what this game is and how I feel like it is fantastic. I love it. Super fun. Um, yeah, it's just, it's so, I don't want to use the word casual, but that's always the best way I can think of these type of games, at least for me, where I can kind of just like, I play it in a way and kind of just, you know, turn off, you know, where it's like, for better or worse, you know, like, I might not fully pay attention, so I may end up, you know, doing something stupid and kind of running away, but, like, I never, I just enjoy, you know, again, the, at least for me, the passivity of just, oh, yeah, I'm placing some tiles, I'm switching some equipment, but for the most part, he's just doing his thing, he's going around the loop, he's killing shit leveling up and it's like just I, I love it <laughs> like I'm not lying when I said the first day I got it I literally played seven hours or six or seven hours that day like it's just it's it, it's awesome that's that's all I can say if you are interested even in the slightest then there's no demos or anything but I mean I will say this game Especially on Steam and Epic, not so much Switch. But it goes on sale a lot, like fairly frequently, and for quite a good chunk. Like, I think in the Steam Summer Sale, I think it's on sale, or was on sale, for like five bucks, at least Canadian, from for me. Um, so, like, you could definitely snag it at a cheap price if you're interested. And I would highly recommend it. I love it super fun there's there's a lot of depth for you know a very passive kind of roguelike type thing but but it's awesome so you've heard enough about me talking about it go play it go if you have it go buy it if you want or go just play whatever you feel like find something new find something awesome find something old find just go play some video games and keep wandering. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.